instead of idols. That's mistake number one about your existing customers. So it's mistake number two, three, number four, six, Mike, seven, into the name Chad, eight, 11. So it's two mistakes. In today's video, we're going to talk about Designer or designer.io and its transcription feature. So are you an online entrepreneur or a digital marketer? And have you ever wanted to turn your videos or podcasts into text for SEO purposes or easy reference? Well, designer.io claims to do exactly that. But does it really work? Well, I just purchased the agency upgrade, so let's jump right in and find out. So first of all, what is designer? And designer is spelled with double R, designer.io. Well, it's an online platform that lets you turn your content into eBooks, blog posts, lead magnets, and more. It's a popular tool for content creators, for bloggers and businesses alike. The main selling point is creating eBooks and lead magnets, as you might have seen in one of my previous videos. However, another one of its features is audio and video transcription, which we'll focus on in this video. So how does it work? Well, According to the internet, designer.io uses artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to transcribe your audio and video files into text. So you simply upload your file, so either the actual file or a link, and designer takes care of the rest. Once the transcription is complete, you receive an email, and at that moment you can edit, format, and customize the text to your liking. And that is also the moment where you can take that transcription and turn it into an ebook, like I showed you in one of my previous videos. So in reality, that means that you could record a video just like this one and designer just takes your text, transcribes it and turns it into an ebook for you or a lead magnet. And the transcription itself, you can use as subtitles for your YouTube video or whatever video. Sounds fantastic, right? But the only thing is I couldn't find a lot of information about the quality of the transcription of this service. So there are hardly any videos online and no blog posts. So in this video, I'll put it to the test. Hi, my name is Joram from successesmade.com and I teach aspiring online entrepreneurs with a daytime job how to create their own profitable online business towards financial independence. If you sign up for the newsletter, you join the community of VP entrepreneurs or value pillars entrepreneurs, and you get free tips and tools to start and grow your own online business. So what are the positives of using designer.io's transcription feature? Firstly, it is quick and easy. The AI algorithm transcribes your audio or video files within minutes. And what it says is that it takes about two thirds of the length of your video to transcribe, so you save already one third of the time. Secondly, the accuracy is quite good, I have to say. Of course, it's not perfect. There will always be some mistakes, but the transcription is generally accurate, enough to work with. And of course, after transcribing, you can make any changes that you need. And thirdly, it is affordable. Designer.io's transcription service is significantly cheaper than hiring a professional transcriber, and that includes Rev.com. And what I always highly value is that you can do this yourself instead of having to rely on someone else. But what then are the negatives? Well, as mentioned before, the accuracy isn't perfect. Sometimes the algorithm can misinterpret certain words, especially if there are multiple speakers or background noise. And what is even more important is that I have so far not found any way to teach the tool new words. And it can be that I just haven't found it yet. But the fact that I haven't found this option yet means that it is very well hidden, if it is there. An example is success is made, which I have to correct in every single transcript. And while the editing and formatting options are decent, they're not as advanced as dedicated writing software like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, which if you think about it is logical, right? Because the tool doesn't even pretend to be something similar to Word. It has a different purpose. Finally, the customer support can be hit or miss. When I asked a question the other day, I haven't received an answer at all after two tries, and it has been a couple of weeks now. So the conclusion, designer.io's transcription feature is a great option for those looking to transcribe their content quickly and affordably. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. If you need high accuracy and advanced editing options, it might not be the best fit for you. But for basic transcription needs, it's a solid choice. In the next video, I will compare this to other transcription services and specifically Descript. So if 
if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button, which is that little bell icon. So I can send you a message when I upload it. So as I said, I will test the transcription service of Designer on speed and on accuracy. So first what we do is we go to the dashboard. So here's the dashboard of Designer and you can see that there are different memberships in Designer. So for the $30 lifetime deal that I mentioned in my previous video and that you can find here in this link down in the screen, uh, for the $30 you get lifetime access to creating ebooks and you have the pro upgrade which means that you have more options, uh, for instance, links and PDFs and other sources where you can get content from to turn into an ebook in the end. And transcription services are part of the agency account. And I have that account because I use it quite a lot. So I upgrade it over time. So right now, what we can do, we have all the options that we discussed in the previous video, but we'll now go to import from video. And what I found out is that if I click on here, and, I'm, and I used my previous video that I uploaded to YouTube. Uh, this is more than one gig of data. And if I try to upload it, well, I can show you. Import from video, upload from computer. Here's the video. As I said, it is 1.2 gigs. And if I open this, it says the file is too large. So the only option I have here is to upload from YouTube. So here's the link copying that into Designer. I now choose import from YouTube. Add a link here, fetch. So it's been queued for transcription. In the meantime, what I'll do is, and let's see how fast it transcribes a video of 11 minutes and eight seconds. So in the meantime, what I'll also do is I'll open the script, the service I used until now for transcribing and see how fast it transcribes in comparison with that. Okay, and I'm selecting the file. Let's see if the script can deal with a file size of over one gig or over 512 MB to be exact. No problem, it is adding the file. In this case, I'll use the stopwatch on my phone. There's only one speaker and we are only three minutes in and it's already done with transcribing, which is really fast. If I compare that with the script, it is still, oh, okay, it is also done. The script did it in one minute and 55 seconds, while Designer took about three minutes for this. Closing the script, going back to Designer, and let's see what the accuracy is of this tool. Here's the text. Designer also has this unique feature, which by the way is patented, where it takes uh, a screenshot for every part of the text that it is transcribing. So you, if you change it into an ebook later, it also includes an image of the video of the scene where it took the text from. Here's a screenshot, here's the text. And if you click on the play button here, you can read while the video is playing. A customer persona for your business has never been easier. Even if you're not creative at all, with the latest AI tools, you can create everything you need. A detailed description of the, here we go with the latest, and actually I think it is fun to keep track of the number of mistakes that it makes. So yes, I am aware that I have an accent, but let's see how well designer can deal with transcribing this, this text with the latest AI tools instead of A idols, AI tools. So that's mistake number one in just a matter of minutes. Pretty good, right? So it's only one mistake in this whole first scene. Based on either your experience or market research and data on either your experience or market research and data about your existing customers. So it's mistake number two. You can imagine that not just a product can imagine instead of you can't. Mistake number three. Hopes, fear that speak directly to their traits. So this is there and this is number four and here this is trades instead of trades so that's number five there's goals desires and a whole lot more and this is something that i because it's a name of a program you can change chat into chat with a capital and then gpt right so this is just my preferred way of writing this but it is not wrong right chat gpt not marking this as a mistake because it did say chat gpt copying this because again it will not be the last time that we need to change this we're still only at five errors so far h 22 to 30 so this and this is h right mike's age so i see that as a mistake six of this mic that you just invented mm. and how mike yeah so here does it well so here transcribes it well, name Mike. Also here, can you describe a day in the life of Mike? Of this, this is of course the same name, Mike. Seven, this chat GPT, chat GPT, so it's not wrong. You can here mark a certain area as important. You can save a timestamp, clear a certain selection, capitalize the selected words. So in this case, if simply would have been, for instance, a brand name, you can capitalize that by clicking this button. If the term ChatGPT is in this text quite a lot, you can change chat 
the capital C for all the instances that ChatGPT is in this text. Here you can paste an additional screen, the screens that I just showed you. These screenshots, you can add an additional one by, uh, if I click here, it adds an additional screenshot. We can loop certain parts and we can just, well, the play button you've already seen. And I enter the description that was just made by Chad. Well, here, this one is, I do count this one as an error because it makes Chad into the name Chad. Eight, and I choose cinematic. I changed, I have to register this as a mistake too. Very well be a mic, right? And it, okay, it made this mistake before, so I'm not counting it as a new mistake. Mic, persona, yeah, here's another mic. So I can change it. I'm not actually using this transcription. So I can change all these or I can just skip them because the goal of this video is to check how accurate the transcription is. So we first, same, right, chat GPT and a lot of mics in the meantime to change it into the landscape. And now it's not helping me anymore. So here, the landscape, to change it into landscape. And I don't say the landscape. So that's error number 10. Cropped image. Yeah, this cropped. And I clearly say cropped. So I see this as a mistake. 11, same mistake, H. It's H is 22. He's, he is a recent college graduate. That was number 12, by the way. Is should be his, his interests and hobbies so there's two mistakes 14 to prepare for a success left out the word the to obtain his first job with confidence and necessary skills but i did say it and it didn't pick it up so counting it as a mistake 15 and change the font okay here we go and then find fund is font here turns it into share instead of chat which is a new mistake he has a bachelor degree in the description of this should be this template singular this template so i'm counting this as one error success is made i upload so it got success right then is made one mistake we're at 20 to your success bye so that's a total of 20 errors in the whole transcription of more than 11 minutes which is very decent i would say it's very accurate i assume that the script also has some issues with some of these words like chat gpt like success is made let's see what it does a idols exactly the same mistake as designer made age was also one mike same mistake chat gpt exactly the same way of spelling this chat gpt which is not wrong but it is exactly the same as designer chat the name chat instead of chat name mike age 22 exactly the same way of transcribing this and i'm using this tool for quite a while already so so you would think that if you consistently change something into success is made, then it should pick that up and learn from it, right? But let's see if it did. Success is made exactly the same. I don't know about you, but I suspect that the AI working behind the designer tool is exactly the same tool as the script because it makes exactly the same errors, the same assumptions, and builds the text in exactly the same way. So so I think it is the same tool in the end. I know originally this video was not about the script, but I think that this is a valuable addition to this video. And that's it for our review of designer.io's transcription feature. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've used designer.io before and if you have any tips or tricks to share with other viewers of this video. If there's something you want me to cover in a new video about starting your online business, please let me know. And as always, thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you here again. To your success. Bye.